Hello, my name is Second, and we are playing Core Keeper. And uh, first thing I want to do today, where is this bed? When we were looking on the, uh, I want to say it was uh, it was this workbench here. We saw that uh, friendly inhabitants could move in if the bed is in a room to their liking. And I think what we're going to start with today is digging out a couple of rooms. All right, that's a start, I guess. I, I don't know anything about them, like how big they're supposed to be or uh, or what. Let's look, uh, okay, so if we had, we could make wood fence gates, traps, paintable floors would take clay walls. And paintable walls would take wood and clay walls. I wonder how we do the painting. Oh, we make a painter's table with wood slime and tin bars. Okay, interesting. On the simpler crafting table, we have, uh, we have wooden walls, and we have wooden floors, and we have wooden doors. So let's make, uh, let's make a couple of wooden walls here. Now, can these be painted? Doesn't look like it. Let's go over here and see what they're like to put down. So we'd have... Oh, we'll just put one right there. Okay. That's a start. So surrounding that with the wooden walls shows me that this room is actually not very big. Um, so what I think I'll do is I'll move some of the stuff that's out here in here so it's a little more uh, convenient and compact. But let's put a floor in first. These are just wood. So let's... Uh... I think what we'll have to do is dig up the floor that's there and put it down, I think. Let's find out. That hit the wall. Okay, right-clicking. Right-clicking appears to be the thing to do with the shovel when you're trying to dig up the floor. All right, let's put this down. We'll see how it all works together. Doesn't want us to put it there. Oh, we could put it here. <laughs> Uh-oh. Have I just created a giant hole in the base? Let's see. Is there a separate dirt floor item? No, it's just dirt walls. Uh, let's see if we can, uh, we can get that in there. Nope. <laughs> well... Live and learn. You know, we just got a new talent point in mining. I wonder if the, uh... These, okay, so these are finally unlocked. <laughs> I feel like our vision is pretty far. Um, so we're gonna go with the potential to get extra ore. So we broke our, uh... The last copper pickaxe that we had made, and I would like to try a tin and see how it is. Let's, uh, I think we'll need this one. Yeah. Okay, so it needs, uh, it needs three tin bars instead of just the two that the copper needs. So hopefully this will be pretty good. Let's, uh... There we go. We'll get rid of this old thing. Now this one has uh, 550 durability. Cool. Tin pickaxe. One shots the dirt walls. That's awesome. I did get a piece of dirt ground. It wasn't just another dirt wall. So let's see if we can hopefully... Oh, good. I did not want a gaping hole there. Another thing we can make here is this door. Oh no, that's the bed. There's the door. Four wood, two copper bars. 
Let's uh, I dug out a nice, what I hope is going to be a nice big room down here. So uh, let's see how it looks with all this stuff put down. So we have this door. Let's see. Probably has to have full amount of walls. Yep. There it goes. Now can we place floors on? Okay, yeah. Cool. Okay, so that's kind of the the basic materials version of a uh, of the little room. Now, a couple of things on this tin workbench. We've got uh, we can make these paintable floors with clay. We can make paintable walls with clay. And we can make a painter's table. We have all this stuff. What we really want is more tin. Oh, we can make a bigger backpack. That's cool. Uh, we want more tin and we want more clay. So we're going to go back to the clay caves. Okay, they're way over here. Hey, first crates of the clay caves. Let's... Uh, See if we get anything, anything interesting here. Got uh, some gears. We got some tin ore. Okay. Look at this thing. I need a drill for that. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. One of the things we haven't looked at yet from the basic workbench is the salvage and repair station. So let's take this thing and uh, we'll put it down here by our little, our little forge. That's a torch. I'm hitting the floor. <laughs> there we go. All right. Put this thing down. Now let's see. Salvaging. Toggle to repair. But what's this? Toggle to repair tools using spare parts. Okay, we don't have scrap parts on us. But we have some somewhere. Yeah, we found one thing of scrap parts. So let's see how this works. Repair. Okay, cool. All right, let's give this painting table a look here. Here it is. It's uh, eight wood, eight slime, and five tin bars. Let's uh, put it right down here next to the cooking pot, I guess. Now let's see. Primary and secondary colors. Okay, so all of these use slime. Okay. Interesting. Let's uh, go on up here. And with the clay we've been mining and some wood, we can uh, get some paintable walls. I'll get a good amount of them here. And we can get some paintable floors. Uh, I assume we paint them first. Uh, <laughs> I'm not really sure. Let's see what we do here. Um, so let's say we wanted uh, primary... What do we do? Right click? Leak stone wall with... Oh, that's an item. Okay. We'll go ahead and we'll make a secondary. So, okay. I think I'm starting to get it. So if we were to come over here and uh, start putting these walls down. That's like drywall. And then uh, let's switch these up. Let's see what happens.
Oh, okay, they're primary and secondary colors. I understand. So we'll make the walls nice and bright. Yeah. And we'll paint these the same way, except with a different color. Just, uh, okay. So we got eight colors we can work with. It's, uh, it's good to know. We might as well make all the paint brushes and go from there. Now another thing I want to look at is some upgraded gear here. Um, tin sword for seven tin bars. That's significantly better than the copper sword, so uh, yeah. And let's go ahead and make this tin anvil. And that should give us access to at least armor. That's, uh, that's better than copper, so let's see. Okay, so it's copper and tin. It is bronze. Cool. Oh, we can make a shield? I have a little bit of bronze cooking up. So let's go ahead and grab all that. And we'll grab the bronze from here too. Why not? And let's see how much, if any, of this. Oh, we need fiber for all of it. I don't know how much fiber we have. We got a little bit. Let's, uh, anvil made of tin. <laughs> okay, we got bronze helm, bronze breastplate. Can't quite make the bronze pants yet. But let's see how this stuff, uh, st well, this stuff is almost done anyway. So 8 max health, 4 armor, versus 12 max health, 6 armor. And there's a breastplate to replace our broken one. <laughs> now, can we turn that broken one into, uh, into spare parts? We salvage it. Uh, let's see, salvage. Gave us, okay, gave us two scrap. I'm starting to get the idea here. You know what I never noticed? The fishing rod. There's probably one in the other, uh, in the other crafting, uh, in the other crafting bench too. Let's see if we can figure it out. The water we have. Interesting. Let's do it facing this way, we can see a little better. Uh, let's see what happens. Nothing. <laughs> I'm sure something's gonna happen. Oh, we caught something. Green kelp. Let's see what else we can catch. So you hold right click to start casting. Uh, I did catch a starfish. Nothing has been very difficult to catch so far. I want to put a torch down there so we could, uh, whoop, that wasn't anything. Let's see if anything interesting happens after a few more casts. Let's see what we can cook. Here's a fish. Reel it in when it's red, we let it go, right? Let's kind of give it its head and then reel it in while it's... Okay, come on. We're gonna get you. We're gonna get you. We almost got you. Hey, hey we got it. What do we get? <laughs> Orange Cave Guppy. Cool. Let's see what kind of food we get out of these things. Cook them with some glow roses? Why not? Glowing Guppy Filet. Okay. Uh, what will we get if we give it the, uh, the Orange Cave? Will we just... We'll find out in a minute, I guess. Uh, I'll take that. And for the Orange... Let's see. It'd be cool if these would stack. 
two different glowing guppy fillets. That's fine. So I was out gathering some tin, and we died again. And more of those maggot things, whatever they are. So we're going back. So we got to get the uh, rest of our stuff. But this time, we're bringing a shotgun. I assume that it doesn't need bullets. We're going to find out. Oh, one of those things is on us. Let's see. I think I see it. Oh, that thing hits hard. It's right there. Oh, it's going to kill us again. Oh, no! We made it! Somehow! I'm not sure I really figured out how that shotgun works, but it does look like it just takes durability. So that's good to know. Now let's go on ahead and hope there aren't a bunch more of those guys. Oh, there's a little one. We don't have a lot of health. Can we eat some more? Let's see if we got any... What does this do? That's a good amount of health. Let's eat it. Oh, there's a whole crowd of them. Come on, you're still after me. Oh. I want to say the little ones came out of the big one. It was horrifying. Let's hope uh, that's the last of them. And get our stuff here. Is that our stuff? That's our stuff. We didn't have that much, but I didn't want to lose it anyway. Let's see, are there more of those things in here? Let's hope not. I just found out what those egg-looking things do. Oh boy. That's where those little dudes come splurting out of. Oh my. Oh, here comes one. I'm getting better with this shotgun. Okay, that did it. Oh, there's another one. Oh, my guys are tough, but they're not impossible. Big ones are another story. Okay, I found out what that big slime trail was. <laughs> There's a giant boss maggot that just comes blasting through there. I, I tried to hit record. I guess it didn't take, but, uh, oh, dear. So I found some seeds that'll let us grow some fiber. I've got those going. And while those are being planted, I wanted to try to make this carpenter table and see what it does. Put it right there. Now let's see. There we go. Okay, rugs, pedestals, decorative torches, 
and decorative pots. Interesting. Okay, the fiber plants are, are grown. Let's uh, go ahead and we should be doing that with the hoe, huh? All right, do we get any seed? We got seeds. Very good. Grub Kapok. That's what we get fiber from, apparently. Okay, last piece of bronze gear we need are uh, the pants. Our copper pants broke. There we go. And now let's put this, let's put the valuables away here, just in case. And uh, we're gonna go try to deal with that big honking slime. Okay, here we are. Let's, uh, let's eat. And let's get ready to rock and roll here. All right. Shotgun's pretty good on these guys, huh? Cool, cool. Let's see how many of these things we can pick off. The big one's up there to the north. Let's just uh, get as many of these as we can before we go up and try to deal with it. It's right up there. Oh, I have a bad shot. Oh, you can sort of see a cooldown thing on the shotgun. I never noticed that. Okay, there it is. Right over here. Oh! We're gonna have to run. Can we keep ahead of it? Oh, it's hurting us. I feel like I keep going the wrong direction. Get out of here. Okay, let's eat. And let's head back and see if we can't hit it again. Should still be hurt, right? I feel like we're slowly doing it some damage. Oh, that hurt. That also hurt. Oh, I was hitting the wrong key. I wasn't even shooting. Oh, we're gonna die again, probably. Okay, heat again. I think we have, no, that's about as good a food as we have. Oh, I can't believe I was hitting the wrong. Okay, let's uh, just light up a little bit here. I try again, right? Hit it that time. Did not hit it that time. We're slowly getting it. I will say it's a nice big target. 
like you stay out of its shadow, I guess, maybe? That was a bad shot. We're hurting it. Oh, that hurt us. Oh boy, it makes a mess, doesn't it? Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Come on. Not done with you. Oh, we're gonna die. Oh, we died. We were so close. Okay. We're heading back. What is this thing just... Alright, that's better. Oh, it healed. Oh, we got a better idea how to fight it now. So we're hurting it. Oh, oh, that hurt us. Gotta get this thing. Gotta kill this thing. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, we're so close. Did we get it? Aha! All right. Who's this? Hello? Oh, you sell things. You sell copper for co those coins we've been finding. You sell fiber. Nice. Now let's see what all we got here. We got some gemstones. Whole bunch of slime. And a glurch eye? Okay. And slime oil. Place it in a habitable room, and a bearded character may move in. Well, here we have what I hope is a habitable room. Just open the door. And what do we do? You just put it down? I guess we're about to find out, huh? I'll put it down on the other on the other end here. There it is. Oh, uh, I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, maybe that guy will make it over his way over here eventually. I don't know. It would be cool to have a little shop. At any rate, now that we got this thing. I think we can put it right here. Right? Sure looks like it goes there, doesn't it? Oh my. What's all this? Gorm the Devourer. Scans the world for Gorm the Devourer. Consumed. Makes five ancient gemstones and five mechanical parts. We'll go find Gorm. This will find the Hive Mother. And the slime sword. Ooh. Eight copper, eight tin, fifteen slime does seventy-eight to ninety-four. And you can attack just as often. And it slows. 
Hey! He moved in. Nice. We're gonna make that thing. One slime sword. Awesome. And I think that's gonna about do it for today, folks. Uh, well, I guess next time, between episodes, I'll probably try to mine up some tin. And we'll probably find something uh, horrible and disgusting, and that's where we'll be starting the episode next time. Thanks so much for watching. See you then.